Hello students. How are you all? I hope you are doing well. My name is Priya Nishant and I am your science educator from Countryside International School. So today we are going to be continuing with our second chapter. Yeah. In the previous class we have discussed about two nutrients that is fat and carbohydrates. In this class we are going to be discussing about proteins, vitamins and minerals. Okay. Proteins are also known as body food rich in protein is also known as body building food proteins is basically required for growth and repair okay protein is very important for our body it is pre, uh, re, uh, required for proper growth of our body and for proper repair of various cells and tissues okay food rich in proteins are pulses pulses mi milk egg fish etc okay so you have to remember three points that is for growth and repair proteins is required food rich in protein is known as body building food examples okay similarly vitamins are an vitamin is another component of food it is also a very important nutrient vitamin helps in protecting the body from diseases okay it keeps our eyes bones and gums healthy there are many vitamins you know that vitamin a hai vitamin b vitamin c vitamin d vitamin e and vitamin k hai na there are also different kind of food from different kind of food we get different kinds of vitamins for example vitamin a ke liye we have to eat a lot of carrot for vitamin b we might require to eat a lot of milk and milk products vitamin c we get from citrus fruits vitamin d where do we get vitamin d from from sunlight hai na so from uh, different sources we get different kinds of uh, vitamins also we have to remember that vitamin b has many uh, subdivisions to it that is there is vitamin b1 there is vitamin b2 vitamin vitamin b3 etc all these vitamins are all, uh, together is known as vitamin b complex have you heard the word vitamin b complex students i'm sure i'm sure you have uh, you know at some times in our nails now there is this white colored uh, line like or dot 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 we can find or there is blisters in our inside of our lips we call it muke chale okay these are all uh, these everything happens because there is deficiency in vitamins so when muke chale hote hai na so if we go to doctor he will give you an uh, ointment to put on it and then he will give you a tablet the tablet will be of vitamin b complex vitamin b complex is vitamin vitamin b and all its constituents okay so that is the uh, use of vitamin b all these proteins and vitamins na they are required for our proper growth for us to be healthy these are required in very less quantity hai na so these are the basic uh, minerals i'm sorry i forgot to tell you minerals is also another a uh, nutrient in our body uh, which, uh, which is very important it is also required for uh, basically growth and repair only but the only difference from vitamin in min and minerals is that mineral is required very less quantity mein examples of vitamin is sodium chloride that is namak so iodine we get from uh, iodine is an example of minerals phosphorus calcium iron these are all examples of minerals i where do we get iron from iron deficiency hota hai to anemia hota hai we see the pale bahut hi pale ho gaya hai that is because of the iron deficiency ha huh? so where do we get iron from we can get a lot of iron from beetroot from spinach etc we get calcium from where from eggs we get from milk we get a lot of calcium yeah so different sources of uh, minerals uh, can be obtained from different sources of food hai na so these are the important uh, constituents of nutrients along with nutrients we also have to discuss about dietary fiber and water okay so what do you mean by dietary fiber it adds bulk to food okay 
Dietary fiber and water are two constituents of food which is not a nutrient. Okay, dietary fiber cannot be considered as a nutrient. Why? What is the use of dietary fiber? Dietary fiber is also known as roughage. Okay, you can call dietary fiber or roughage. The purpose is one and only, the same only. That is, it adds bulk to the food. What I mean to say is, for example, if I eat a gajar, okay, if I eat a carrot that is say 25 grams, okay, so let's say gajar mein vitamin A hai. So do you think full 25 grams of vitamin A hoga usme? No, it is possible that uh, maybe 2 grams of vitamin A is there, 1 gram of vitamin B is there, all other minerals are maybe 4 or 5 grams together. All together there will be say 10 grams of all kind of nutrients and rest uh, 15, 15 to 20 grams of another bulk that is provided by the dietary fiber. That is it just adds bulk to the food. It helps in the process of digestion. That is in excretion. That is if after eating food, after food is digested, the waste have to be removed from our body. You know, through excretory system, the waste from our body gets removed. Dietary fiber help in the removal of this waste. Okay, and next is water. This is one important part of food. And next is water. We all already know why we need water in summer seasons because we are thirsty. Other than that, water has many purposes. One, one is it helps in absorption of nutrients. Absorption of Helps in digestion. Yeah, it helps in the better absorption of nutrients. For example, after food is digested, all the nutrients has to be absorbed by our body. Hai na? This nutrients is absorbed with the help of water. Yeah, and water also helps in the process of digestion. Digestion may water help cut that. These are all the nutrients uh, and dietary fiber and water okay so have you heard the word uh, balanced diet balanced diet i'm i'm sure you might have heard this in your life okay so what is the definition of balanced diet balanced diet is nothing but a diet which consists of all the nutrients in required quantity along with dietary fiber and water okay Balanced diet. What do you mean by balanced diet? Balanced diet is nothing but uh, the diet in which all nutrients are available in the required quantity. The necessary quantity may there is enough nutrients, all the nutrients in proper proportion along with water and dietary fiber. That is known as balanced diet. Balanced diet is very important for us to have on day to day basis. If we don't have a balanced diet, if we don't have all, intake all the nutrients in proper proportion, what will happen is, for example, if I don't eat a lot of uh, vitamins, okay, daily daily I am eating only rice and dal, so I am getting sufficient carbohydrates from rice and from dal I am getting sufficient proteins. But if I don't eat vitamins in enough vitamins, what will happen? The amount of vitamin in my body will decrease. So I will get have a condition known as vitamin deficiency disease. That is deficiency disease means a disease which occurs because of lack of a particular nutrient for a long period of time. That is known as deficiency disease. Okay. Uh, so about deficiency disease and uh, different types of deficiency diseases and various tests for nutrients we will uh, continue in the next session. Okay, I hope this many topics are clear to you. So up until then next, uh, up until then uh, we will meet. Uh, take care of yourself. Have a good day. Bye.